Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we are here today at William Busta Gallery for the Hilder Johnson opening. Hey, guys, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for coming. Mr. Busta, talk about Hilder Johnson. You've been the premier gallerist in Cleveland for decades, and you've been following Hilder's work now for, for many years. I started showing Hilder's work and looking at it when she was in graduate school. And actually, I went to her, her mid graduate school uh, review because her husband asked me to and he had bought two pieces from me. And when you graduate school, this is at Kent State University, right? At, at Kent State University. And we started a relationship at that time. About what year was this? 1990... 91? 91, 92, 91 or 2, yeah. What do you like about her work? You obviously are a big believer in what she's all about. Well, Hilda is, you know, one of the things you... Do, with, that happens when you start with a young artist is you, tr you, 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 you believe in them and you, start, you try to anticipate what the work might be like in five or ten years. You don't know what it will, I actually don't know exactly what it will be like, but you see the potential of the artist in creating things and developing and, and continuing to do things that are interesting. And what did I like, what did I like about them? Uh, there's... Uh, Hilder's always wonderfully inarticulate about the work, and the, it has, the work always has this really, really nice edge to it. Um, there's a concern with landscape and place, uh, but also there's a wonderful intimacy to it as well. So, Hilder, talk about your work. It, it's obviously influenced by Iceland, where you're from, yes. but, but you've been living here now in northeast Ohio for most of your adult life. Yes, I've been here now 30... 30 years, come, yeah, almost 30 years. Um, I go back home twice a year, and that's where I get my inspiration. I take pictures, um, and then back in Cleveland, I work from those photographs to make the work. I, I pick out things from the landscape that seem interesting, and, um, and a lot go of times, from there. Between bodies of work, there are a wonderful series of drawings. That, yeah. you, that you use to sort of experiment with ideas, and they don't directly lead into the next body of work, but somehow the next body of work has something to do with them. Yeah, I always make drawings alongside, and um, just to work out ideas of forms, colors, you know, things like that. But you don't show those, those drawings, really. You're showing just your textile. Well, uh, in this particular show, no. There's no drawings here. Um, I do show my drawings around, um, I mean, I've... We show the drawings you know. between, the, between, yeah. the t between the painting shows. Yeah, we do. Right. Yeah. Talk about this new series that you have here. It looks like you're in a, to a mon monumental scale, for one thing. Yes, I bought a new loom. Um, I had a big commission that I made very large pieces for, and so I got inspired to make um, more large pieces and bought a loom that's 10 feet wide, which wow. enables me to make pieces that are 10 feet in one direction and... Um, I guess infinitely long in the other direction, <laughs> though I am somewhat limited by my studio size. But theoretically, yes, they could be 20, 30, 40 feet long. So these pieces are about 8, 10 feet tall? They're 10 feet by um, 16, 14, 16. And what, what has that allowed you to do, having the bigger scale at your disposal, the bigger loom and the bigger size work? Um, I've always wanted to make work that kind of like completely envelops you. Um, so I guess that's what I was trying to do to really, you know, uh, relate it with the nature, you know, where I go in Iceland, you know, it's completely overwhelming and surrounds you. So I, I, I'm trying to maybe recreate that feeling. I think you've done it. I think these are overwhelming pieces when you're up close to them. Bill, Hilder's got, you said, like four solo shows coming up here soon? Yes, she, yes, she does, in New York, in Chicago, and in Reykjavik, Iceland. Just amazing. Thank you guys for taking time to talk with us. Congratulations, okay. Hilder. These are wonderful works. Thank you so much, Bill. Thanks for coming. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in cool Cleveland.